Well, hello, good evening. It's actually kind of a later time than what I'm usually hopping on. But I wanted to share something with you because this morning I came across a post that I had posted last year and came across it again through, you know, our memories that lovely Facebook love, you know, loves to do for us, which I absolutely love that they do that because some cool stuff comes up. But the ironic thing was, is I really, I didn't think about it when I had seen the post because it was extremely ironic that I was actually attending a funeral today. And it didn't resonate with me until after I left the funeral and I thought about that post that I made today and I was like, oh my gosh, that post talks about the dash. And the dash meaning the dash that's in between the year you were born and the year that you passed. And what this poem talks about is it's not about the cash and, you know, all that stuff. It's, it's about the time that you spent, you know, helping others and really serving a purpose in your life. So I thought that I would take a moment to read this to you because it is absolutely amazing and it really makes you think and puts things into perspective so and if you want to look it up but I want to read it to you it's called the dash by Linda Ellis and it goes like this I read of a man who stood to speak at the funeral of a friend he referred to the dates of her tombstone from the beginning to the end he noted that first came her date of birth and spoke the following date with tears but he said what mattered most of all was the dash between those years. For that dash represents all the time that she spent alive on the earth, and now only those who loved her know what that little line is worth. For it matters not how much we own, the houses, the cars, the cash. What matters is how we live and love and how we spend our dash. So think about this long and hard. Are there things that you'd like to change? For you never know how much time is left that can still be rearranged. If we could just slow down enough to consider what's true and real and always try to understand the way that other people feel and be less quick to anger and show appreciation more and love the people in our lives like we've never loved before. If we treat each other with respect and more often wear a smile, remembering that the special dash might only last a little while. So when your eulogy is being read with your life's actions to rehash, would you be proud of the things they say about how you spent your dash? So I just thought that was just so beautiful after I read it. Um, you know, I was at a funeral earlier today and it was, um, it was very sad. Um, and you know, everybody spoke very highly of him and just of that, that he did spend his dash helping others and giving. Um, and it was just ironic, excuse me, I'm crying, but it was just very ironic that that post came up today and I really didn't think about it until I was driving home. And I thought, I need to read that poem. And I did when I got home and I wanted to share it with you. So again, it's, um, it's called The Dash by Linda Ellis. And, you know, I guess we just need to think about, you know, what does really matter most? Um, what we do in between, you know, how we are, um, you know, serving our purpose and, um, it, it just really was like, wow. <laughs> so it's by Linda Ellis, Kimmy. So Linda Ellis, and it's called The Dash. So read it, share it, and, you know, share this with um, somebody that you feel might um, need to hear it. But um, I just thought it was, I just think it's such a beautiful poem. So, all right, you guys, have a wonderful night, and um, I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya.